Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is CK and today I'm going to show you how I repaired a cracked racket with super glue and got it back into playing condition. So don't forget to subscribe. Uh, more content, badminton content like this coming up. Um, so if you want to check out another video of me turning a completely broken racket into a pen, I'll link them up here. And if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments section below. So here we go. So initially when the racket came to me, it was uh, it, it was broken on the 10 or 2 o'clock, depending which way you're looking at it. It was cracked and then it was missing a lot of grommets. Some, some people, someone tried to remove some of the grommets um, and then failed to do so and destroying some. Um, it also came without a grip. Um, and so I'll show you what I've done to it to make sure that it is now back to playing condition and absolutely looking perfect. So here you can see this is a close-up look of the cracked. It is not severed, but just cracked. And so you need ultimately three ingredients. You need one broken racket, you need two super glue, and then you need three paper towel for cleaning up later on. So here I'm gonna show you step one. You try and put a thin layer of super glue into the crack. So ideally you want the super glue to go into, flow into the crack. Um, so that it actually seals um, or fills up the crack. Um, unfortunately, this will also mean that you will not be able to change the grommet in the future. This is kind of uh, set in stone for the grommet. Um, but then this is what you want to do is to fill the crack with super glue as much as you can. Uh, and make sure you fill the other side too. When you flip it over, make sure you're not sticking your freshly super glued side of the racket onto whatever material that you are putting behind the racket as backing paper. So here I'm using an Amazon parcel as a backing material for the racket. So be careful and take your time. So make sure you try and fill as much as you can um, off the crack with super glue. And that's it for step one. So step two is very similar to step one, it is essentially add a second layer once step one is slightly dry. Um, be careful of air bubbles if there is any advice that I can give you. Um, I found them quite annoying and not being able to fill it properly, fill the crack properly. Um, so yeah, so take your time and add a second thin layer if you can onto the first layer of super glue. Be mindful not to actually fill the grommet, <laughs> the, the only grommet that's in, in between the crack. Be careful not to fill that and take your time. And once that's done, just leave it, inspect it and clean up your super glue tip. Make sure that it doesn't stick on itself. That's it, really. An additional tip, make sure you lay the racket or elevate it somewhere so that it doesn't stick on itself on the backing paper. Again, just leave it one side. So once you've left it after a day or two, you should come back to it and you can see that there might be a slight uh, matte layer of super glue on top of your crack and that should be fine, that's absolutely normal. Um, inspect it to see if your uh, super glue work is actually great. If not, you can always top up. Um, so here I'm just showing you multiple angles of it. Um, it looks like I think all the super glue has actually gone in and did, it, did their job. So I'm quite happy with that. And I'll leave you with some close-up shots. Something that I also like to test would be to apply some force onto it to see if there are actually any movement onto it. So here I'm trying to pull apart slightly where the crack was um, and there was no movement so I was quite happy. Unlike this racket where you can actually see, although I haven't applied any super glue on it, but this is completely severed and so you can see it moves really, really easily. So something like this is definitely game over, no go, not even worth try super gluing. Next on the repair list would be to remove all the damaged grommets as well as replace the missing ones. So here I'm going to do a separate video of this showing you how I go through about my grommet replacement. I'm also going to introduce certain tools that I use and certain tips and tricks and techniques in the future video. So make sure you're subscribed to be notified when the video is published.
So next on the list is regripping the whole racket and I will be linking my previous grip video on here for your reference as well. However, if you want to see the full section of me redoing this racket, please let me know in the comments section down below and I'll be happy to upload this section of it. And finally, we're on to restringing the racket completely. So it is always quite tense when you're restringing a cracked racket and we certainly had some hiccups along the way so I will show you this in a future video so make sure again you are subscribed. In the meantime, enjoy this time lapse. And we will finish with stenciling the racket to make sure that it looks absolutely on point and professional. So if you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section below. Have you done something like this? Have you repaired your racket before? Or you know, what do you do with broken rackets? Please share it so that everyone can learn. More badminton content coming soon, so please subscribe. See you then.